Hi, welcome to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple shish kebab recipe that you can do at home. So hopefully it's going to have this phenomenal restaurant quality flavours, uh, but you can enjoy it in the comfort of your own home. And it's not too long, uh, well it doesn't take too long to cook the dish neither. And you should have that phenomenal, fantastic quality. So I don't have the uh, sheik skewers um, that we have it in the tandoor and stick it in the oven. But um, for you guys, I thought about it. So I went to um, the local supermarket and bought these nice little skewers so you can whack it on the barbie if you want to or you can make it at home so hopefully it's going to be very simple and easy to follow for you guys um, so lovely recipe for the shish kebabs right so I have my chopper ready this is just one medium onion which is about 140 uh, grams and this is uh, four green chilies you can add more or less depending on how you uh, how much spice you like so This is um, one bunch of coriander from my mum's garden. Um, I've just uh, measured it, it's about 50 grams. So hopefully it's gonna be lovely and fragrant. So this is garlic, just smashed in a pestle and mortar. Whack in about one teaspoon. One teaspoon is generally about 10 grams. For all the mathematicians out there. I know you start grilling me, uh, not giving the measurements. Again, another teaspoon. Again, uh, tends to be about 10 grams. Now, lid on securely and whack the blender. Get all the mixture from the sides. Smells wonderful, that lovely coriander and green chilli has a beautiful smell, absolutely fragrant. So here you go, you've got that sort of texture, that coarsely cut, um, that's what I'm looking for. So when I'm biting into the shish kebab, I can taste a bit of coriander, a bit of onion, yeah, chilies, garlic and so on. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. So that's the blend there, and now I'm going to add uh, to the main mince. So this is 500 grams of uh, lamb mince. It's got a little bit of fat, but you need a lot of fat for this. Um, so normally in the restaurant, what I would do is I would get some fat and the mince we make our own. But um, in this case, I just had to get it from the supermarket, uh, which is perfectly fine. I'll tell you a, a, a secret tip. Uh, hopefully, if you use that, you'll have some fantastic shish kebabs. So the mixture from the chopper. So that's the coriander, garlic, everything's gone into here. Now, these are the dried Kashmiri chilies. You can buy these. So what I've done is uh, smashed some of them, about four of these in a pestle and mortar. Um, so it's got the seeds in all, so that goes in. So this is the Kashmiri chili that makes the uh, chili powder and it makes lovely vibrant red color. So these are the spices, so one teaspoon of uh, coriander, half a teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of cumin, and about half a teaspoon of chili powder. This chili is not gonna be enough, so I'm just adding a bit more. There you go. So on 500 grams of meat, about one teaspoon of salt is normally fine. You can add more or less, but I generally find this is perfectly fine for us. So one teaspoon. Right, I'm going to use some paprika. So that's going to be one teaspoon. This is going to build a lovely color, hopefully. Um, now I'm keeping it simple with these spices. If it was in the restaurant, we'll use Madras kebab paste. If you want to add a teaspoon of Madras kebab paste, there's no problem whatsoever. A mas tandoori masala paste, uh, one teaspoon. You should have fantastic restaurant like uh, shish kebabs and they normally use a bit of red food coloring. I'm not going to. Keeping it nice, simple, and using the paprika, the chili powder, that should build a natural, beautiful color, and that's what I want, really. So that's all the spices done. Now for the secret tip. 
as I said, um, to have the most beautiful uh, shish kebabs, you need the meat to be very fatty. So normally uh, we mix uh, some fat into here, which I'm not going to uh, because I couldn't, I wasn't able to. But what I'm going to do is the next best thing is the kanan butter ghee. Uh, this is animal fat, so obviously um, it's going to have a beautiful flavours and the shish kebabs. So let me just add one. So that's two heaped tablespoons of pure butter ghee. Now, what this does is, um, for the shish kebabs, uh, you need to cook it quite fast. Um, if you overcook it, it goes dry. So you need it to be uh, lots of moisture in the meat, and this actually helps uh, you cook down um, the meat properly. And it's gonna, it takes about six to eight minutes on the grill. So a bit of fat is gonna help the flavor of the lamb cook wonderfully. So now all I'm going to do is give this a nice mix. Now the secret to shish kebab is the mixing. So you need to mix this for about a good five minutes. All the spices, every little grain of that mince needs to be covered and squashed. Voila, look at this lovely colors, the herbs, the spices, fantastic. It even smells absolutely fragrant. So now what I'm gonna do is stick it in the uh, fridge for about half an hour while I preheat the, pre the oven grill. Right, it's barbecue season, so there's lots of skewers out in the shops. So I bought these 50 jumbo flat skewers. Should do the business, there you go. It's not obviously what I'm used to. Normally a one inch by one inch squared uh, sheesh or one of those flat uh, stainless sheesh, but this should hopefully be fine. I'm gonna to try to do these um, and I'm gonna show you how uh, to stick it onto these sheesh. Uh, sheesh. Water. So this is a nice, uh, just bigger than a golf ball kind of thing. Bismillah. <laughs> Never done it before like this, to be honest with you. Um, I'm gonna give it a, my best shot. So to do this, it's quite flimsy. So basically you're using these two, your thumb and your middle finger to shape it. Practice makes perfect. This is my first ever attempt. Lots of concentration going on to here, guys. If you have it too thick, the inside of the sheesh is not going to get cooked. And because we're at a disadvantage at home with these small skewers, so we have to try to make it as thin as possible so it cooks fast. And you want it to be nice, succulent and juicy. There you go. So that's about three, six, about six to seven inches. So, beautiful. That fits right on my tray. I'm gonna do some more now. It's quite stressful actually. Normally it'll be just so simple, just sticking it on the skewer and whacking it into that tandoori, which is nice and hot. go this is the hard part guys this is the hardest part to do so we get in there beautiful right there are my skewers so I've got about five 
this was the hardest part to be honest with you shaping it out um, but hopefully if you take uh, enough time and bit of um, OCD make sure it's perfect as much as you possibly can do it and guys you're not professional so don't worry about it um, so make it like this but try to make it as thin as possible and it should stick on to uh, the sheesh and now we're gonna put it onto into the grill right the reason why I have the skewers on top of uh, this tray if I left it on the tray which I could have done it's going to release a lot of fat and liquid and I don't want it to steam uh, when we stick it in the tandoor or when you're putting it on the grill it's the heat um, that cooks it so um, the grill is uh, the heat is coming from above so it's going to be full and fierce um, onto the sheesh and then uh, really and truly it should take about six to eight minutes to cook it. Um, so we normally turn it around, but if you stick it in the tandoor, it's heat from everywhere. But if you're whacking it onto the grill, it's normally just uh, turn it every minute or so. But I'm gonna try to cook it three minutes on one side and three minutes on the other side because it's lamb. I want it to stay nice and juicy. Once it has a bit of color, that's when I know um, it's done on one side. So I'm gonna stick this in. Position it bang onto the middle and let this cook and I'm gonna get my timer on now. It's been about a minute. Cooking away. I can hear it sizzle. It's doing its job slowly. Patience is a virtue. So it's been about four minutes. lovely color now I'm going to carefully just turn it I'm having to put it together so um, because it's not obviously the shape or the skew is not exactly how I wanted it to be so Hopefully that's going to be the other side cooking away. Now that took for me on, in my grill, it took uh, five minutes. So this side I'm going to I'm going to try to cook it for about three to four minutes, uh, not longer than that because I don't want all the juices to come out um, of the meat. So that's about three minutes since I've turned it. Have a, let's have a look. That's nice and well done. It's got juices flowing. When I press it, you can see that. Now I don't think that's raw. I think that's perfectly done. So that's taken five minutes on one side, three minutes on the other side. So normally eight, six to eight minutes I said, so that was about a good eight minutes. If it's any longer, it's gonna dry out like this bit here, and then it's gonna be dry. It's not gonna be tender, soft and succulent. So that's ready, now I'm gonna put it aside. That's my shish kebabs. Nice, juicy. Look at that, juices flowing. Looks decent enough. Just got a little bit of mint sauce, how I like it. Squeeze a bit of lemon juice. Right, I've underestimated the heat of the oven. As you can see here, it's a little bit raw. So I'm gonna stick it back in for a couple more minutes. There you go. Need to get it right, voila. Right, that was good, I did uh, that my mistake there. See, even people like us can make mistakes uh, judging the heat, but now it's cooked properly. We're gonna be perfectly safe. There you go. That's nice, juicy, succulent. And because we put the skewers in the water, it hasn't burnt, as you can see here. Now, this is what we do, would have not want. This, now, these ones are ideal. Now, I'm gonna give this a nice little taste. Bismillah. Yep, that's beautiful. 
that caramelization of the onions, the green, um, the green peppers, uh, sorry, green chilies, the coriander. <clears throat> uh, this is what I wanted. Beautiful. Lovely. Look at this. This is the juice that you can see. Absolutely gorgeous. Loving this. I was meant to taste it, but I'm eating all of it. That's how greedy I am. Lovely, juicy, beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Now that shish kebab has been demolished. And if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos, guys. This is absolutely gorgeous, nice and simple. These are the shish kebabs. The rest are made these beautiful koftas. If you want to see the kofta recipe, let me know. Shish kebabs. Beautiful. Lamb kofta. Absolutely delightful. Beautiful, glistening away. Lovely, jubbly. <laughs> Lamb kofta kebab, shish kebab, with some lovely rice. 